Good to be back. Well, what a great story. Let's go through your story, if, if we uh, can. You came up in the Dodgers organization. Uh -huh. You were a great player. You MVB caliber series, uh, 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 seasons, rather. Mm -hmm. You get an injury. You have mm -hmm. a few tough seasons. You get traded to the Padres, right? Yeah. Which is heartbreaking because you wanted to play for the Dodgers your whole career, correct? For sure. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I got drafted by the Dodgers in uh, 2003. Uh, came up with them f for, for eight, nine years, and then, um, you know, got traded. That was, that was a little bit tough. Went who to told San Diego. you you were going to San Diego? Who, who broke that news to you? Uh, it, was the, it was the new GM, uh, Freeman. Okay. Uh, yeah, he called me. It was the first conversation I ever had with him. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, I'm great. <laughs> oh, no. This and is you... after I already knew that I already got traded. I see. He's like, I know it's, it's kind of, you know, tough to, to talk to you like this. It's the first time I was talking. And uh, he told me I got traded to the Padres, and then it was, it was, that's how it was. And then you're with the Padres. You wind up in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. you, the Dodgers go to the World Series yeah. without you. Mm -hmm. Was that difficult to watch? For sure it was difficult, but I was definitely happy for, you know, Kershaw and Kenley and those guys. Um, those are guys that I, you know, came up with and uh, played, played with, so I definitely wanted them to win, but I was a little bit, you know, jealous not being there with them because, of course, you know, I want to I wanna play in the World Series. And then how did you <laughs> find out when you're in Atlanta, how do you find out that you are going to be a Dodger again? Oh, I was actually, it was off-season. I was actually uh, at lunch with a, a bunch of friends because um, uh, one of our friends was about to propose to his, uh, his girlfriend, so oh. we were just trying to plan that out. He was trying to plan it out, tell us how he was going to do that, but... Um, yeah, I got a call from my agent, and uh, he told me I got traded. And uh, I, I asked him, or asked him where, and he he started laughing. I'm like, what? And he goes, you got traded back to the Dodgers. So of course I'm like, fist pumping. And you were happy. happy. Yeah. Yeah. And now you're back. And then <laughs> you decide that you are going to go on some kind of a physical routine. Well, no, no, first, first, uh, so I found out I get traded to the Dodgers, and then uh, Freeman calls me again. This is oh, the he second, did? Okay. The second conversation we had, <laughs> it was like, uh, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. Uh, you might get traded again. And I was just like, why? Like, I want to I wanna play in the World Series. I want to be with my friends. I want to be back in L.A. And, um, yeah, I, j I just told him that I, I, I wanted to, to help these guys win as as much as possible, and uh, I wanted to be part of something special. And uh, he's like, well, I'll, I'll keep in touch with you and see what happens and uh, work my butt off in the off-season. Uh, How much weight did you lose in the off-season? Enough. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said you lost 50 pounds. Is that true? People can say what they want. It doesn't matter. I lost uh -huh. enough. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> and know? you come back. And come now back. the Dodgers, they took you in kind of a, like a money uh, deal, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and they get this you know, great player again. I mean, I, I, I still got a lot to offer. I still got a lot of baseball left in me. Um, it was definitely motivation to come back and, and be in L.A. and play in front of a bunch of amazing fans. And, uh... So today is uh, an off day for the team. Yeah. You guys have won seven out of your eight last games. Do you... And when you're in a role like that, do you not want an off day because maybe it might hurt the momentum? No, we definitely want off day. You days. want an off day, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you do on an off day when you're at home? Well, I'm a little bit older now, so I like to just hang out at home and watch TV and... Uh, <laughs> you watch television. <laughs> yeah, kind of eat a little bit, just, just kind of hang out, gather my thoughts and, and kind of prepare for the next day because, I mean, baseball is tough. We play 162 games. We play mostly every single day, so... Yeah. Uh, off days for us are, uh, are rare. Tuesday was a very special day for you. Uh-oh. It was Matt Kemp bobblehead night. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It doesn't look that much like you, no? I don't think. No? Well, a little bit, I, I guess. I think it does yeah. a little bit. Yeah. I guess it looks... Yeah, it could easily be either one of us. It's got the beard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you approve this design? Did you, uh, they... We don't get any type of approval. You don't, they just huh? put out whatever they, they come up with. Do they give you bobbleheads? The, the first time I saw it literally was the, the day of the bobblehead. And I don't get to... I don't, no, I don't want that. I want something different. You don't, what do you mean you don't want? We don't, we don't, we don't get to decide what pose. I, yeah, that's I mean, probably... they got the beard. They got, you know, they got everything. They got the pine tar on the back. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's it got pretty my, good. Yeah, I, I think it's pretty It got my eyes, too. Did they give you eyes. a bunch of them to, for I got yourself? You see, look, it's got the eye, green eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah. it does have green eyes. Wow, <laughs> I'm starting to fall in love with this bobblehead, Don. <laughs> <laughs> Yasiel 
Puig has been on a crazy yeah, tear. Yeah, he has. He has. He really has. It's he. He's nuts, right? He's like he's a, he's a, he's an insane person. He's the, they don't call him the wild horse for nothing. Uh huh. Yeah, he's 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 nuts. But uh, is he the most unusual uh, guy you've played with in the major leagues? He's crazy. Oh. <laughs> but I mean, crazy in a, in, in a good way. He pisses a lot of people off on the other side of, of the uh, of the dugout. But you know, we embrace it. He brings a lot of energy to the to the field, and uh, he's been on a tear. You know, player of the week and. Uh, you know, game-winning uh, home run last night. Yeah, we've been we've been doing really good. We're we're playing really good, and uh, we're getting hot at the right time. Yeah, it does seem like you're getting hot yeah. at the right time. Is it? Is that? Is that something that just happens if it happens, or is it something that you feel like you can rest up and really turn it on? Well, at the beginning of the year, I think most Dodger fans were like, what's going on? We suck. Yeah, and right. I, and we're just like still in the locker room, chilling, turning up, having a great time. <laughs> Because we knew how good we were. We knew what we were capable of. We don't panic. You know, we, we're, we're where we want to be. We're right where uh, in the mix. Two and a half games up, eight games ago, nine games, something like that. But uh, Nine games, I think. Is that yeah. what it is? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah, don't worry. I'm keeping yeah. track of all so, this. So, <laughs> you know, we, we just had a good series, and now we play the Padres. And uh, Oh, now you play going. your yeah. old teammates, yeah. the Padres. Yeah. When you were on the Padres and you would come up to L.A., <laughs> how would the Dodgers fans react to you? How would they treat you? Oh, they treated me good, but they it did. was just sucked because... <laughs> yeah. They would... L.A. would come to San Diego, and there would be more Dodger fans than Padres. And then, uh, of course, you know, I would go to L.A. It was always good to, to come home, but uh, it was it was kind of like mixed. It was there was a lot more claps than than boos, but uh, you know those boos. There was there was a lot of loud boos, especially you know all the drinking that's going on on the, on the uh, field. Those those people are mean, boy. <laughs> Dodger, Dodger fans, if you're not on the right side of, of the Dodger fans, you know, then uh, people think LA you don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to be in. You don't want to be in their bad graces. People think LA is laid back until yeah, they no, go no to chance. a Dodgers game, and then it's like, oh no. That's wait. why they stop selling liquor like after the seventh inning because they need everybody <laughs> to calm down. Well, it's great to have you back, Thank and you. congratulations. We're, we're looking forward to a very deep postseason run. Matt Kemp. The postseason begins with the National League Wild Card game October second on ESPN. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. An evil wizard has trapped me inside this YouTube video. Click subscribe to help me escape.